Theo said something he, he just kind of in passing. He said that the Clemson game seemed like so long ago. Does, does it seem that way to you? And, and is that like a good thing? Yeah, I mean, it, it really it really does feel like something. It feels like it really was about maybe two or three weeks ago. It didn't feel like it was so so close. I mean, I it, it, I, I take it as a good thing because I mean now we that just shows how much effort we put into preparing for South Carolina because we know they're a great team, high powered offense, and I mean we've just really been focusing on how we're going to play against them and try to take things week by week. Did the coaches kind of convince y'all that y'all played the worst game of your <laughs> Every day that goes by. Oh uh, yeah, they definitely. Whenever if you ever messed up, or you ever looked like you didn't give a whole bunch of effort, they were, they were they were quick to tear you down. And uh, but it, I mean, it, it's good for us because it goes to show that no matter what you did last game, it's definitely not going to carry over to the next. I mean, you just got to come in and work hard and even even put in even more effort than you put in the previous week. Uh, obviously not satisfied, but did, did the second half of that game show you guys uh, what's possible? level that y'all were able to play at to kind of validate the buying in to, to everything and kind of show y'all what, what y'all can be? Uh, to an extent, yes, cause it, but uh, there were there was a lot of things we uh, could have done and there were more plays to be made in that second half than we uh, than we really wanted. I mean, like we played pretty well, but that's nowhere near what we got left in our store or in store for us. I mean, there was a lot of times where guys could have made plays if they would have executed or really just played their key more and versus trying to go make another play. Like in our defense, if you stick to what you what the coaches tell you to do and if you pay attention to your key, that's how you make plays. And I feel like in this next game, we'll see a lot more of that going on. Are you glad to see um, that Connor Shaw is not going to be back there running around? Oh yeah, man, Connor. Connor, he definitely was a an athlete because that Joker was fast. I remember I was watching. So we were watching film on one of the plays, and uh, he ran a draw off the middle. Not that I was, good. I came off the, I folded back, thought I was going to catch him, and he slipped right between me and Chris Mays. And I, I'm just, I'm glad he's gone because he's a great quarterback, and he's he had a lot of speed to him. What's uh, what's the primary difference, and not just in the quarterbacks, but in the in the offense under Dylan Thompson as opposed to Connor Shaw? I feel like he's got a, I like his pass. I, I, I kind of like his passing game more. Then uh, Shaw, he's he, he's definitely a guy who'll sit in the pocket and uh, throw some downfield passes. And I feel like he has a better understanding of the game, not knocking Shaw in any way, but I feel like he just understands Coach Sprayer's offense and knows who like he knows what to do. If uh, you guys give him a pocket too much time out there, you think he can hurt you downfield? <laughs> oh, I didn't hear that. You okay. think? Do you think if he has that pocket, he can hurt you guys down? Oh, yeah. I mean, if, if, if we don't contain him, if we don't get pressure on him, he, he, I feel like he definitely is going to have a great night. Because, I mean, watching him, anytime he's had a lot of time in the pocket, he's made some great passes in the past couple of weeks and in the past year or so. Going back to going on the road, you were a freshman back in, I guess, 2012. So 2012. <laughs> the last time you went to Columbia, obviously not a good oh. memory for you guys. But, but how eager are you to hopefully erase that and put some good memories in Columbia? I'm definitely eager to change that. I mean, last year when we were out there, the fans were – heck, that was the most hostile game I've ever played. And either them or Tennessee has the loudest stadium. And it just felt like everything that could go wrong went wrong after, in that game. And they took it – they capitalized on every mistake we made. And they made plays. And it just – it was a, it was one of the worst games I've ever endured. I understand you've been playing a lot of Sandstorm in practice. Are you a big fan of that song? Are you ready to – be done with that. Yeah, see me. I like. I I, I kind of like the song a little. Like when they played it in a, during the game, I was like, "Shoot, it's getting me." I don't know why they keep playing it. And uh, like, I, I mean, it, it doesn't bother me much as as much as Rocky Top does. <laughs> yeah.